All over the world, coastal and island people are drawn to the cities. They replace the quiet village life with a life punctuated by diesel roar and pounding commerce. Here in Suva, the biggest city in the South Pacific, 300,000 people live, crowded together, but most of those people came from villages elsewhere in the islands. Once in the city, these 300,000 people still eat fish, just like they did in the villages. And that creates a vast market. Market fishermen leave the city every night, go out on the reefs, and fish to feed the 300,000 people here. I went down about 7 o'clock, and I came up about 11 o'clock last night. So I went down about half past 11, I came up about 3 o'clock. And I went down about 3 o'clock, and I came out about half past 5 this morning. Ah, oh, no, it's a hard life. Yeah, it's a hard life. Can the reefs out there feed this number? Not really, there's just too many here. And so they have to go further and further and further afield in order to find enough fish to feed this population. In Naigani village, a village of about 50 or 60 people, they have kilometers of reef and hundreds of square miles of ocean that's theirs exclusively to fish in. Normally we just fish off, uh, just with a hand line. Like you go off the reef or you just uh, use traps, fish traps, like uh, building a stone wall around to trap the fish when the tide goes out. The numbers tell the story, really. This city is 5,000 Naigani villages, and they don't have the same area in order to fish. That means that protecting the fishing resources that are here is really critically important to keep enough resources coming in year by year to feed this population. Everybody thought that the idea was very good. Don't go in the protected area, just stay away from there. We've seen that uh, what we were doing and what is happening is uh, that in the future, uh, maybe nothing else would be left for a young generation to, to even see and know that this kind of marine life used to live here. Eh?